Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Fresh Fam Shamika, whichever one you want to call me. And today I want to talk about pushing forward through chaos. Just things happening in your life that's unexpected. People that's around you that's not like positive or um, if you having like situations in your relationships, that's not, um, you know, the best for you or just things that don't feed your soul anymore and how you should move on from that and why you should move on from that i'm just gonna have a discussion about it because it was on my heart and um i got up today before i get into the story i got up today yesterday my sister did my hair and i got up today and i felt like i don't know putting on a dress looking pretty pouring into myself lately i want to feel feminine again after going through my situation for almost two years um there was a time when i wasn't showing you guys it was almost two years um what from when it started i didn't feel like myself i didn't feel like shamika at all i just felt defeated and alone and um i don't know i felt like my essence was gone i had no libido i didn't have anything and I, my journey really, really taught me to look more within. I always wrote about, you know, wanting wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and just learning from my inner self outward. But during that journey, I really, really got to understand what that meant. Just being stripped away of everything that I, I was so used to, like having my hair done all the time and doing my makeup and, you know, just being a girly girl, like, you know, what society puts on you. I'm not so much, I wasn't brought up to just be focused on that, but you do miss that when you can't do it anymore. So I'm so grateful that I'm able to, you know, get my hair done sometimes now and, um, you know, make myself look pretty. Today I was able to put on some eyeshadow and some lipstick and I'm starting to feel like myself but better is like I came out a better human being it's not like it, I did come out a better human being and I'm so grateful for that time in my life which brings me to the subject of the day which is pushing forward through chaos and just believing that you can get to the other side or take steps to get to the other side and for me um prior to that even happening to me I was very much into affirmations. I have another page, which is on this page. It's called Flick of Words. And um, I push positivity, like just write positive words or just have some videos where you can watch it and, and relax and go to sleep or just meditate to it or do homework. If you want, you can follow the page. I will definitely leave it right here on the screen so you can know um, how to find it. But I'm more active with it on Instagram. So if you go on the page, you could just click, click the link in the upper corner and just hit Instagram and follow that page as well. But that's how I started out. Like I started out with just reading affirmations and rewiring the way I think. And, you know, instead of responding a lot to people, I went into this silence, kind of like a silence mode where like I wanted to see what people actually, what was your pur purpose actually in my life? You know, so I don't really hang out with many people, period. But just the ones I had around me, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to conflict with who I was trying to become. And I'm still doing that. I'm still looking for, like, my tribe of people, you know, people that people that will support you when you're not feeling your, be your best. People that will stay with you when you're low and going through something that's unfathomable, like... When I was waking up crying and going through the mental chaos of it all, I had two, three girlfriends that I could call and I could actually be myself and cry on the phone with them. And they would pray for me and we would pray together and they would uplift me and make me laugh. And like, I'll never forget. I mean, we still friends, but I'll just never forget like what they did for me in that time. And those are the type of people you want to have around you when you're not feeling your best when you do need that encouragement um yeah so affirmations was a big thing for me just rewiring my brain when I would hear myself say something bad to myself about myself I would knock that out sorry 
it kind of froze. Yeah, I would knock that out with something positive, reassuring myself with something positive immediately after. And it got to a point where even during my situation, I was not looking at the negative. I would sing songs about my skin getting better. I would talk to God about my skin getting better all the time. Like I was focused on just uplifting myself too while healing while healing know that I could get through get through this and asking him to lead me in the directions I needed to go. You don't necessarily have to do that, but when you're going through something that's chaotic, the best thing for you to do, sorry, the best thing for you to do is to speak positive words over yourself and give yourself that encouragement to keep going forward and, you know, close those doors. Sometimes it's hard to let go of people. I keep saying that, but it's because it's the truth. Sometimes you just have to let go of what doesn't serve you anymore. Something that served you when you was 19, maybe 19, maybe in your 20s. Sometimes it doesn't serve you in your 30s. You know, sometimes you just got to let it go and start over. And that's what I'm doing. And even in relationships, sometimes, you know, you might be with somebody for a long, long time. And y'all just aren't vibing and you don't know what's wrong, but you know you still you still got love for this person, but y'all just on two different paths. It's okay to let that go too. So for me, I would say always choose self, you know, and listen to self. So choose self, listen to self, and like really meditate on where it is you're trying to go. And if you're confused, you could always get a journal. You can always get a book and just write down the positives and negatives. How does this person make you feel? How does this situation make you feel? Are you okay where you're at in life? If there is more bad than good, then there's something that you need to do, which is true self and figure out how you can get to the next step, which is what I'm working on right now. Um, If you haven't seen my eighth month update, you should check it out. I'm going to link it in the description box below. And I'm going to be making my nine-month nine update soon. And I also will be having my hair growth video coming very, very soon. I see the buzz cut video has a lot of views. If you haven't seen my buzz cut video, I'm starting my regrowing my hair. Check it out. I'm going to link it in the box below. But yeah, all these things that I'm doing is not for vanity. It's very much to feel like me now at this age. What does this age of Shamika entail? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm still trying to put my life back to wherever it's supposed to go. And I'm leaning into my faith and hoping that that's going to bring me what it is I'm looking for as I put myself out there. So I want to encourage you. Anything that is bothering you, anything that is tearing you down, any person that's around you that's tearing you down, anything you're saying to yourself that's tearing you down, we want to rise above that. We want to come out of that. We want to come out of unloving ourselves. We have to pour that into ourselves. We cannot, we cannot rely on somebody else to put that into us. And if you take care of yourself, if you love who you are, without all of this, without like how I was in my other videos, like just be transparent, just be honest with what's going on. You don't have to share it with the world, but just be honest with yourself about the things that's going on in your life and where you want to go. You have to be that way to yourself so that you could get to the next step. I had to be completely honest with myself. You got to know the good and the bad, you know, don't let somebody else point that out to you. Don't let somebody else make you feel inferior. You know your situation, so you have to figure it out um, on your own, as hard as that is, and make the conscientious decision to push forward and heal from whatever is going on, whatever traumas that have happened. Take that time to invest in you. Go see a therapist or work on it every day. And you can get better. I don't have I don't have as much negative thoughts as I once did. I successfully retrained my brain. I'm not gonna say that I don't have sad days and things like that, but I definitely 
have made it a, a, a promise to myself that when I'm starting to feel like that, I type something or I write in my book or I am heavy. I'm very much heavy into meditation now. And I will sit here for 20 minutes in silence so I could figure out what is going on and how I could get past this feeling of not feeling good enough, you know, on those days when I'm not on this camera. So it happens to me too. And I just want to let you know that it's possible to push past a, a difficult point in your life when you think that you can't come back from it. Just believe in who you are and what you could bring to the world and what you could give people or what you can give yourself. Because if you give yourself everything, you'll be able to give other people everything. And I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, if I have any more to say, I'll just slice it in. But I feel like I said everything. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on future you. And that's what really kept me going, actually. I was thinking about the woman I want to be in my 50s or my 60s and how can I make her proud, you know, make my future self proud. What would she have wanted Shamika now to do? So when you're when you're in your lowest, think about what your person, who you are in the future would want you to do to align her or him in the right space and mind and, and time. You know, what frequency would you have wanted your person to be on? And I feel like I successfully hugged and healed a lot of the parts of my life that were very sad, like um, losing my brother and stuff like that. It took me a long time. It took me a long time to get over that, a very, very long time, so. And, you know, losing him kind of made me angry and bitter and it was, it was a lot. So sometimes you have to go, you have, it's not sometimes you, you have to go inward to move forward. And, um, as hard as that season was for me and is for me still, like it looks lighter on the camera, but as hard as this season and the 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 height of it was for me i look back now when i look at my pictures and my videos and stuff and i'm so happy that i did the videos because i can instantly remember how i was feeling and what i kept telling to my to myself to get here and i can't wait to continue to film and see where i am in the next couple of months or even a year from now so yeah, thank you for watching my videos. If you are subscribed to my channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of stuff coming. I'm going to continue cooking. I'm going to continue showing you skin skin stuff because I always was into taking care of my skin and making my own concoctions. Um, and if I have anything that I start to sell or create, then I would definitely let you guys know here, hear it here first. And, um, yeah, later.